Two-Faced and Two-Faced. <laughs> He's gonna love this. There. Mess. Looks like a workshop, not a bedroom. Where is she anyway? Huh? Now what's this? Oh, grand opening of Food by Fuse's 200th store. <gasps> Fan meet with Tom? <gasps> what? How dare she go without me? I want to meet with Tom too. <gasps> I'd better hurry. There's hardly any time. Hang on, my best tracksuit's in the dryer. What'll I do? <gasps> <laughs> ah, there goes my back again. Oh. Hi, mister. Huh? Isn't this a beautiful day? I feel like dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah? Says you. I haven't danced in 15 years. <laughs> Can't you feel the excitement in the air? A soccer news site? That's what you spent all day working on? So cool, right? It's just like our teacher says. Write about what you know. I think she meant with your homework. I don't have time for homework. Soccer is my life. <laughs> so what's this? Reporter Corey, editor Corey, features Corey, Corey Corey. Great, the world of Corey. What, are you jealous? Because I can always make you an assistant or something. It'd be good for you. What do you say? Nope. Is that him in the car? <gasps> Is it? That's not him. <gasps> Mom! Huh? Oh, boy. Mom, what's Mom. wrong? Oh, no!
you. Go grab onto a tentacle now. When it comes to being a hero, nothing's out of reach. We need C. Quick, get the other one. On it. Tobot C, attack him! Roger that, officer. Preparing to follow the usual procedure. Sir, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. We get it, you studied. But it's time for action! Action! I'll show you some action! What's going on here? You okay, C? It appears the squid bot is winning, and C is failing. But, yeah, he's too busy following the rules to help us out. It's embarrassing. That's what I say. Hmm, listen up. There are principles at stake here. I am not going to break rules simply to catch a rule breaker. Once you've opened that door, there's no closing it. You mean you're too scared to take risks? Okay, guys, watch and learn. I'll show all of you how to get the job done. Robot is brutal. See, use your laser net. Laser net. That's what I heard. search from up here. Uh, are you okay? Huh, talk about unexpected. Thanks for helping us. Yeah! <laughs> Where did that thing go? Anyone? Still nothing? All clear above. I can't find that thing anywhere. It doesn't make sense. I've been thinking. The problems with those noodle restaurants, the fake MC, and this squid thing? Could they be connected? Yeah, they could be connected, but I don't know. It just doesn't add up. Squid's legs. Thank you so much! By the way, what's your name? I'm Norman. I'm Dolly, and I really owe you for finding this thing. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> and there you go. Oh, thank you! Next. <gasps> uh, hello. Nice to finally meet you. Tom, can you sign my jacket? Uh, sure. So, what name do I put? It's Tom. Tom Spark. Isn't that so cool? It's like we're brothers or something, you know? Wow. Fantastic. We must have tons in common then, huh? Yeah, so tacky! That hat doesn't go with that jacket! Why? 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 They're all done. Thanks for watching. Here. <laughs> I made you a little something. <sighs> Smells delicious. <laughs> Even Dillick wouldn't eat that. It is. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Next. Uh, hi, Mr. Fuse. Please call me Tom. Now then, who am I making this out to? It's Dolly. Hi, Dolly. Hi. Have you been waiting long? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dolly! <laughs> what kind of name is that? 
<laughs> well, I gotta say, it's really nice to meet you. I made the scrapbook for you. Thanks, Dolly. <laughs> oh, no, a scrapbook. You're welcome. Bye. Huh? Oh, smells tasty. What's Mr. Fuse doing with all of this? Uh, excuse me, sir. What are you doing with all the gifts your fans got you? Should I put them in storage somewhere? Throw them out. What? I really have no use for any of that junk. But, sir, don't you think that's a bit of a waste? I get so many gifts. I can't possibly keep them all. I'd need another house. <laughs> Good one. Anyway, um, Mr. Fuse, if you don't want it, do you mind if I eat the food that they gave you? Whatever. Thanks, sir. By the way, I found this thing in the pile of presents. There were lots of photos of you inside. I thought you might want it. Hmm. More junk. <gasps> it's nothing. Just some silly scrapbook. Come on, guys. There's still lots left. Taste the love that went into this cooking. Yeah, but uh, doesn't it feel like we're cheating the fans? They wanted Mr. Fuse to enjoy this stuff. How can you even think that? At the end of the day, we're Dado City's best villains. It doesn't matter how cheap or how fancy the treat is, we deserve to have it all, you hear me? Okay, what about that stuff over there? If it can't be eaten, then it's trash. Throw it out. Mm, boss, uh, maybe we could sell some of it. We could make a lot of money if we had a garage sale. Nice try. I don't have time. No way. But think of all the things that we could buy afterwards. Uh, we could get a remote control snack tray. We could get a snack tray made entirely out of snacks. Huh? Come on, let's move. Garage sale. <sighs> come one, come all. Get your authentic dado souvenirs. We'll be here all day making balloon animals. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the photo I posted. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Get lost, kids. <laughs> we were leaving anyway. Hey. Why aren't we getting more customers? I don't know. Okay, fine. Let's find a new spot. Yes, boss. Spread everything out. Yes, boss. <laughs> Come on over, everyone. Huh? What? Look. Huh? Oh, no. The police. Told you we needed a permit. <laughs> Pack everything up. I could throw a better curveball than anyone I know if I practiced. Oh, yeah? <laughs> hey, boss, you flattened the merchandise. It's ruined. Uh, look on the bright side. I cushioned my fall. Oh, everything's broken. We can't sell any of this stuff now. Oh, well, get rid of it. Go on. <sighs> Thanks, Tom. You've got great taste. Huh? Tell me, how did it go with that very pesky picketer? I apologize. The Tobots interfered. I couldn't remove her from the area. The Tobots interfered? You should be more careful. I think you're losing your touch. Much better, thanks to you and the Tobots. Oh, good. So are you really out here every single day? What do you have against Mr. Fuse? <sighs> Sorry, I had to ask. It's okay. The thing is, if a huge restaurant chain like Food by Fuse opens right next to our diner, then we're ruined. There's no way we can stay in business. <sighs> Did you try asking your customers for help? Yes. 
But I don't think it'll work. Hmm. So this is really the only thing I can do. But everyone loves Tom Fuse. You know what? If they don't listen, you'll just have to make them. How? Road to reporting. You want me to write about this Norman guy's mom? Uh-huh. How come? Because she's in trouble! Sorry, I need some sources first. Sources? What do you mean? Uh... You know, sources. Uh... Okay. Uh, like, where's the story from? Where'd you get it? I know what a source is, okay? Norman's mom's the source, and she's happy to be interviewed. Her name's Mrs. Hall. What more do you need? Uh, that's not what I mean. Is it true? Because she could just be lying to you. News articles, uh, they take research. Everyone in the neighborhood knows she had to close down after Food by Fuse opened up next to her diner. If you need witnesses, then I'll bring you some. Uh, the thing is, my newspaper is devoted to soccer. I can't write about anything that isn't related to that. Readers wouldn't like it. You just want to sit around picking your nose. Well, thanks for nothing. Huh? That's it? I need more. I'm a growing robot. Come on, stop complaining. You know Mr. Few says meals aren't included here. I found these under his chair. If I was the boss, I'd serve a huge lunch. What's that? You think you could be the boss? I'm the only one here with experience. I should be the one in charge. Okay, then. Why don't you find a way to get us better lunches? What? Hello? I've already explored all the options, and it's impossible. You've just got to apply your skills. Like, what are your talents? I think I've proved myself as a gifted actor. That gives me an idea. Huh? What? 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 The result of the soccer match that took place between Team B and Team C is one goal to zero. Goals and assists were made by... During the soccer match that took place between C and D, the ball was accidentally kicked into the street and was squashed. Match canceled due to... A math test? Uh... Corey picks... This isn't a news website. It's an excuse for him to show off. I know how to run a fan site. I can do the news, too. That's it! You're doing it right! Master! Run! 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 Look at him. He's been trading day and night all week. Losing to that squid bot must have been hard. Now he's determined to get stronger. Why sure likes being his coach. I guess it's a nice change being the one in charge. 1,000! 1,001! Faster! More! Ladies and gentlemen, Tomar C just did over 1,000 push-ups! Last one! I'm really exhausted! Don't give up! Imagine you're pushing squid thing! Don't you want to show that robot who's boss? Yes, that's it! You're done! You're doing it! Yeah! Hey, why am I the only one working out here? Don't you need to train as well? Over? Me? I'm scheduled to start tomorrow. <laughs> he used that excuse yesterday. I'm seeing a pattern here. Dolly, what's up? Huh. Somebody's in a rush. Huh? What does she need reporters for? So you want help posting these around the school? Sure. You can put them on all the bulletin boards and signposts. Thanks so much. of applicants? Uh, so none at all? Hmm, that's great. What? Oh no, I just meant without reporters, I... <coughs> Here, drink this. <coughs> oh. Actually, I wanted to try out. <coughs> what? 
Well, can I? Mm, sure. Okay, sit over there. <clears throat> now tell me, what skills do you have? Well, I'm good at puzzles, I like asking questions, and I make sure to hand in my homework on time at school. Hold on, that's not what I meant. What gives you an edge? Can you define edge? I'm not sure. I mean stuff like... Uh... I can do anything you tell me to do. Anything. Really? So you're okay with me being in charge? Mm-hmm. Okay. You're my second in command, but I call the shots. Don't go bragging about it to everyone, okay? Mm-hmm. Let's shake on it. Wow, that actually looks good. <laughs> now we just sit here and wait for the money to roll in. Great. But when do I meet the new students? And my office better come with a really nice chair. You still don't get it, do you? The whole website is a trick. It's called a ghost site. What? No way, Jose. Uh, count me out. I don't want to run a school for ghosts. There's no school. It just means that it's a fake website. Customers sign up for acting classes with Tom Fuse. Then we take their money, and they'll never find us, so it's a perfect scam. What? I love it. <laughs> I knew that's what you meant. I was just teasing you. Everyone knows ghosts aren't for real. <laughs> <coughs> Call me when it's done. <laughs> hey, hit the lights. OK. <gasps> hey, come on, turn on the light, will you? This isn't funny, you know. <laughs> Stay calm. <laughs> Something just poked me. Mommy! <laughs> 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 Tobot C has been training hard, and he says he's going to give it 110%. Ready, go! <laughs> what are you laughing at? Is it me? Over? Sorry, C. You just look so funny. <laughs> yeah, if only you could see yourself. There's nothing funny about training. Over. It might look kind of weird, but it can really help boost your speed. That's why I'm so fast. Hmm. Thanks a lot. Why? Hey, wait a sec. Aren't you supposed to be training too? Over. Don't worry. I'm already fast. Come on, move it! One more time! Hmm. <laughs> Step it up! <laughs> this is Tobot R reporting on what appears to be a new style of training. Do not eat food by fuse. Smaller businesses are suffering. Support your local companies. Do not eat food by fuse. Smaller businesses are suffering. Support your local companies. All done. Hey, come take a look. Food by Fuse has been closing down small businesses. Wow, you're such an amazing writer, Dolly. Really? You mean it? Mm -hmm. Then we should get a lot of viewers. Look! Someone read it! I did. Oh. Hmm. I don't think anyone cares. Then I'll make them care. What are you doing? If I log in and out and back in, I can increase the visitor count. Someone has to get it started. Then people will catch on and start talking. You do it, too. Okay. Oh, it won't go up anymore. How can we get people to read the story? Let's give it some time. You only just posted it. I knew it. People are only reading about Tom Fuse. Wait. What? Come and look at this. What is it? Huh? Acting lessons? Weird. Who designed this? Come on. No way it's real. You see this here? 
And look, it's too good to be true. Tom Fuse wouldn't be running a school himself. Hmm, something's fishy here. Boss! Why isn't anyone calling us? You must have done it wrong. We've had zero calls so far. Well, we did get one call, didn't we? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Someone trying to sell us office supplies. Were his prices good? What? Who cares? This isn't a real office. True. Uh, I still think I need a nice chair. Something soft but firm at the same time. No, that's not what's important here. Uh, we've got one. Uh -uh. Hello? Yes, thank you for calling. You have reached the official Tom Fuse Academy for acting. Hi, so is Tom Fuse really a teacher at the school? Yes, yes, of course. Mr. Tom Fuse will be at your service 25 hours a day, every day. It's hard to believe he'd have time for that. Does your school have a mailing address and a business registration number? Yes, yes, of course. We have a business registration number, sure. Help, what's a registration number? I don't know, just give any number. Hello, miss. I'm sorry to keep me waiting. We don't deal with that in this department, but, uh, what if I give you my library card number instead? Uh, do you have a pen and paper handy? It's... Oh, she hung up! Some people have no manners! How dare she insult me like this! You think she caught on to us? What? Uh, no way. Hello, miss. I'm sorry to keep me waiting. We don't deal with that in this department, but, uh... Okay, we've got this guy. What's your plan? I think I've just figured out a new way to get people interested in our story. A case of false advertising at Tom Fuse's acting school. I don't get it. How will a Tom Fuse article be any help to Norman's mom? You did? Okay, I'll wait here for you then. Oh, I should have known she'd be late. Huh. Let's see what Tom Fuse is up to. He's famous! Everyone loves to read about him. So this article will get people to our site. No way! He did what? I figure once they get to our site, they'll end up reading about Norman's mom. <gasps> Oh, no. This poor, hard-working lady. This is terrible. Sherry, now! Oh, yes! Wow! <clears throat> Missing persons report. Uh, sir? Has anyone followed up on this report yet? I'd keep quiet. The captain's in a seriously bad mood. You don't want to get his attention. <sighs> There's nothing I can do. I wish they'd just transfer me. I'm sick of working here. <sighs> All right. Tell me, what's got you so riled up this time, sir? Nothing. Well, it isn't exactly nothing. Oh. All those noodle restaurant incidents. It's been weeks already, and we still haven't found anyone we can blame for it. Now the deputy chief is acting like it's my fault. I mean, do they think I don't want a safe city? We're doing our best to solve this case, aren't we? Yes. yes. Because this case could get me fired, and next thing you know, I'll be looking for a hobby like fishing. But I bet you'd love that to happen. You'd get a new boss. Is that what you're all hoping for? Yes. Oh, uh, no. Hmm. HQ, we've got a cat stuck in a tree at 3rd and Vine. Over. Uh, Captain, we've hmm. got a situation. Huh? Uh, I'll handle it. Now, where was I? You were talking about fishing? Yes, right. When they fire me. Did I ever tell you about the time my dad caught a flounder? But it turns out he was allergic to seafood. Huh? What was that? Sorry, sir. My radio transmitter just broke. I'm waiting for an urgent call. Uh, go on, then. Go and get it fixed. Mm, now, where was I? Uh... Oh, something about a fish? A flounder. Oh, I remember. Go out and get a flounder. 
Uh, no, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, uh, that is, uh, no more floundering. Go out and get me some clues. Uh, oh boy, the traffic report's looking really bad today. Hey, Tobatsi, tell me what's the best emergency route. We need to get to that stakeout spot. What if we turned on the siren for a while? Sorry, that's not an option. It's not technically an emergency. Hold on. Why did I, I even bother to ask? Again. Searching now. Wow, these rules are really <gasps> fascinating. Over. How could someone dare to impersonate me? And just who is this protester and why all the fuss? Sir, allow me to take care of it for you. Don't worry about it. <sighs> what a mess. Just wait until I get my hands on whoever smeared my good name. Dillick. <gasps> so did you. <sighs> Empty the trash. Uh, not yet. No? I smell something awful. Um, well, you know, I don't like to get in your way, Mr. Fuse. That's why I was just patiently waiting for you to leave your desk. Then can we... Uh... Dillock, go and open the window. Hurry! Holmes, you should lay off the beans. So tell me, who's helping this troublemaker? The City Online News, by reporter Dolly Park. <laughs> <laughs> what is with that name lately? Two dollies in one week. Hold on. It's the same girl. You know that, reporter. I believe I do. <laughs> Fenders and Free Falls! That reporter, she came to a signing. How very interesting, sir. This will help us. She seems quite clever. She's a child. What? Amazing what kids can do on the internet. Forget about her. I'm too big a star to worry about some girl. No. Instead, find the person behind this fake school. Uh, ah! <laughs> Dolly's awesome. She's already got tons of people reading her news stories online. Yeah, I noticed that. It's pretty much the opposite of what's happening on Corey's soccer news site. Popularity isn't everything. And so what if Dolly's news blog has thousands of followers? I don't care. I don't think it's gonna last long. What exactly are you saying? What I'm trying to say is I'm starting a new news site. Oh. Seriously? What's wrong with you? Anyway, so that's why I need your help. These are all of the reporters I want working for me and the topics I want them to cover. First, reporting on school news, we have Ryan Char. Uh. Except for the sports news, Dylan can write that. Let's see, what else? The word on the street. <clears throat> How about Nathan? Guys, come back, I'm not done! I'm still talking here. <clears throat> I'll hire someone else then. <clears throat> huh? <laughs> Say, could I be one of your reporters? Yeah, I guess. Oh, no. It's a really bad sign when you don't finish your dinner. What's bothering you this time? Come on. You know you can tell us anything. Robots are good listeners. Uh, boss, uh, can I have your leftovers? No. Aren't you worried about the fake acting school? It's only a matter of time before Tom Fuse finds out it was us. He's going to be mad. Well, let's just explain it to him. What? Did your circuit board get wet in the rain? I just think he'll forgive us if we tell him ourselves. And if we bring him something. He hates presents. We could sing. Or what if we all did a little dance? No! I'm talking about that reporter, Dolly. She's been getting in his way with all those stories about food by fuse. So we'll stop her from causing trouble, and then you can beg for his forgiveness. You're only human, right? And we all make mistakes. He'll understand. Hmm. Well, I am good at groveling, you know. Fine. Let's go get that pesky reporter. But, where do we start? Hmm. I know. Reporters can't resist a good story, so let's give her a story she can't resist. My favorite kind of story is a spooky one, where I feel so shivery and scared that I spill my cocoa. Same here. Uh, let's tell her there's something spooky going on at the old factory. That'll do it. 
that, um, the old factory? Do I... you need me to go with you? Why? Are you scared? I know this is silly, but... someone told me it's haunted. Uh, believe me, boss. We'll be the only ghosts there. We're gonna be ghosts? Fine, then. If it's theater, you'll need my acting talent. <laughs> Let's see, I'll need the dress rehearsal and, of course, a brand new business card, too. <laughs> what? Wow, look at this. Huh? Oh, were you asleep? No, not sleeping, just thinking. Listen, Layla, you have to remember to call me boss here at work, okay? Because, you know, we're professionals. Oh, sorry. Hey, boss, there's a message here that I think you should read. Come here and take a look. If you insist, hold on. See? It looks like a lead. Huh. Nice work. This could be a big story. Okay, there. Looks pretty good. You did make me look like a really handsome ghost, right? You bet I did. Hmm. It's too bad we don't have a mirror. <laughs> But what about your makeup? We don't need it. We have glow-in-the-dark face masks. Ta-da! Oh, wow. Scary. Boss, five minutes to curtain. Okay. Wait just a minute. Here's the plan. I hide until they show up, then I'll scream. Ah, I'm a ghost! Ah! And I jump in front of them? You got it. Okay, right. I just hope you don't get scared waiting in the dark. Don't worry about me. I've got nerves of steel. Literally, they're made of steel. Over there. Off. Oh, right. But still, uh, people shiver when there's a ghost in the room. What? What? <gasps> what was that? It didn't sound like a child. <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> Go to your happy place. Working. I'm still scared. Where are the biker bots? So, I guess our source is a no-show. Oh, well. Hold on. Look there. Going home? Uh, is that my makeup?
gotcha. Oh. No, that was a close one. <sighs> Thanks, but... Uh, how'd you guys find out that we were here? We've been following you, just in case. So, what happened? There were ghosts. You should have seen them, officer. Ghosts aren't real. That's what I used to think. But Layla said she saw them too. Someone played a trick on us. Look at these. What? what? They're disguises. I found this stuff inside. I'd say somebody was setting us up. So that means the food I've used tip off was a fake? Yep. Hmm. Why? Who would want to do that? Man, oh man, that's the loudest snoring I've ever heard. <laughs> right? Well, at least we know he's okay. When this is over, we should get him to enter some competitions. <laughs> is there an award for snoring? Here's his favorite. Hey, you can't give food to someone who's sleeping. Boss is always eating in his sleep. See? What? Look at this. Whoa, he's responding to the smell of the food. All right, good. Make sure that the new sign is visible from the highway. So tell me, Mr. Dillick had some kind of accident? He's resting now. But we're busy. I mean, what was he even doing? Frolicking in a factory. The lab sent a report. His bone density confounded them. It was hard to run the tests. In short, our worst employee has a very, very thick skull. Well, hello, Mr. Fuse. So is the silly man okay, or is he not okay? From what the doctor was able to see, poor Mr. Dillock will make a full recovery. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure he was ever playing with a full deck. Okay, so he's fine. Well, well. The Octobot's looking great. I hear it's been busy taking care of our little problem. You could say that. And the taste test is going well? Yes, it's underway. Who'd play a trick on Dolly? We're lucky Officer O got to her. She's an extremely bright kid, but it gets her in trouble. Hmm. Do you think it's time to make her a Tobot? Hmm. She's certainly been patient letting Nathan have W. Let's do it. No! And why do you say that? Because what does she need a Tobot for? She should just be careful. I mean, she's not even a real reporter. She got herself in trouble just to get a lame story. Besides, being a Tobot pilot is hard enough for us. She's got so many other things taking up her time. Dylan, you agree with me, right? Um, well, I guess so. Like all that time she spends at her homework. I really think her priorities are mixed up on this one, Dad. Corey, that is just not fair. You aren't being reasonable. Dolly cares about the Tobots, and it's great that she works hard at school. But she's... Mm. Look, your dad is right. Are you saying you don't care about her safety? No, no, that's no, not it. Uh, not. If you don't want us to make her one, but you want her to stay safe, then lend her your Tobots. What? No! no! Well then, that settles it. Dolly should have a Tobot for herself. Do you all agree? Yeah. Hmm, thought so. Officer Bull, are you on to something? Yeah, look at this. There's a Food by Fuse location on every street where a restaurant's been forced to close. It's no coincidence. They're shutting out the competition. Over. Exactly. As I always say, if the fast rabbit doesn't make it to the finish line, you better question the tortoise. I don't quite follow. Isn't the tortoise and the hare a folktale about patience? Over. Well, you know, to a police officer, it's more about the... No, oh, forget it. I'm gonna pay a visit to Food by Fuse's head office. <sighs> I made the reporters days ago, and they still haven't written anything for me. Oh. How's our editor? Good, thanks. Have you got a story for me? <laughs> I sure do. It's quite a scoop, I must say. That is just what I need. What is it? Here. 
It's very exciting. I am currently standing in this lovely farm where a new litter of piglets has just been born in excellent health. Aren't they the cutest things? Oh, they slammed me! All eight piglets and the sow are doing very well. The farmer isn't sure yet, but he might soon be looking after a small pig belonging to his neighbor, Mal. This is Tobot R reporting from a farm near you. Good, yes. I've got goosebumps. Yes, that was really interesting. So is that it? Of course not. If you liked that, you'll love this one right here. This year's harvest is reported to be the largest in several years, and farmers are having to get up extra early. The days are long, but the work is rewarding. I'm here live at the scene of an exciting crop drying station. How about I give you a hand with that? May I? No, don't, dear. Please, be gentle. Of course. Look for local produce at the supermarket and at farmer's markets in your community. This is Tobot R reporting from the heart of the action. See you next time. Oh, before I forget, I plan to do a feature on carrot farms. If you want, you can help me with the research. Yeah, um, no. I don't think we need a story on carrots, actually. I just can't shake the feeling that Cory wasn't interested in my reporting. Wasn't the writing good enough? Huh? Is something the matter, boy? Stay, sit. Stop barking and come back here. Boy, there's nothing to be afraid of. What's that? Oh, no! Minds in Mind Cores. Robot R! Transform! Successful rescue. Still, you better get out of here before it grabs you again. <laughs> Yo, thank you, Tobot. Just doing my duty. <laughs> Whew, the Squidbot is getting stronger. How many limbs does it have, anyway? <laughs> I'm here live at the scene where an arm wrestling match just turned ugly. Now you two can enjoy the force of Tobot R's amazing strength! Yeah. <laughs> he really cracks me up. All right, my friend. Make sure you pull very slowly so the tentacles don't snap. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Hey, kids, don't try to set home. <laughs> Oops. And we must have pulled a little too hard. <laughs> what a mess. Are you okay? <laughs> that was nothing. We should have caught it. We had that robot in the bag. Oh, get it off! Get it off! Oh, no! After all that training, I missed out on the action! Over. Ah, don't take it so hard. You win some, you lose some, right? Hold on just a sec, guys. This isn't the first time this robot's tried to capture someone, and it's always a Food by Fuse protester. Is that right? Hmm. Let go! It'll strike again, and we'd better be ready for it when it does. I couldn't find out who the fakers were, but we won't stop investigating. You can be sure of that. Layla, I've got to go. Talk to you later. Huh? Hey, Norman! <gasps> Dolly, it's you! Ugh. Oh, no! You okay? 
Are you alone? Mm-hmm. Ah! Oh, that looks like it hurts. Where do you live? I can help you get cleaned up. Anybody home? Hmm. Huh. Where's your mom? I don't know. When I woke up this morning, I couldn't find her anywhere. Really? You're all by yourself then? Mm-hmm. Huh. How about you come with me? We'll help you find her, so don't worry. You can stay with me until your mom comes home, okay? Okay. Here we are. It's cozy, right? Right, let's get you cleaned up. Now blow. Harder, come on. Hmm. Your knee will feel better in no time. What is wrong with this silly car? Ooh. Home cooking. A little thank you for your help. Your car will be good as new, no problem. But I need to ask, would you mind if... Oh, I have to get this. What? You're kidding. Are you saying she never gave you the deposit? Go, catch up to her. Then call me right back. Oh, I sure hope everything's all right. <laughs> Just a business I run. So, what was that you were saying? Uh, right. So I was kind of wondering if we could turn your old car into a tow bar. Oh, I knew it. I just knew it. Mrs. Park? Yes, of course. You go right ahead. You sure? Don't worry. I trust you with the car. I'm sure you'll do whatever's needed. Excuse me. I have some business to do. Well, did you find her or not? Keep her right there. I'm coming over. No, I don't have an appointment. This is a police matter. I'd like to ask a few questions. Sorry, but no can do. You're not authorized to enter, and I can't give out any information. Yes, well, I know this isn't really an official visit, but your cooperation would be extremely helpful. I'd love to help, but it won't be possible. Try again another time, or maybe don't bother. Why is she so difficult? Something's not right. What is it? Is this Tobot damage? It is. Unacceptable. You should have used stronger parts. You know better than that! Hmm. <laughs> Don't tell me you're surprised. Ah, this would never have happened in the first place if you'd used a titanium alloy. Tobot R is an undeniably powerful machine. If you want to stand a chance next time, I'd suggest utilizing titanium with the nickel memory alloy. Duralumin is just too brittle. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Dillick's been binge watching science documentaries again. Alas, we don't have the ability to create an alloy of that caliber. <laughs> well, then be prepared for the Tobots to win. Allow me to give you a hand. Mr. Dillick, are you sure you're feeling all right? <laughs> I'm afraid our friend might have a point. That's a first. How amazing. It appears that when he fell, he transformed into a genius. His brain is emitting alpha theta waves that are only seen in people with very high intelligence. Huh. Unbelievable. How does that happen? He's more annoying than ever. Hmm. This is an opportunity. What? We could make use of his reasoning power and get him to solve some of your more bothersome business problems. After all, he has experience fighting the Tobots. Great. We finally have a real use for that weirdo. Mind you, there is one small problem. Problem? Now that he's so smart, he might be less willing to obey us without question. He could become a danger to us. Don't worry. Remember, he's a big fan of mine. And fans do whatever I tell them to. Huh? Bye for now. I have to go to school, okay? See you later. Hello. Hi. Good morning. 
Hey, how are you? Norman, what are you doing? <laughs> Just a second, guys. What is it? What's wrong? I, I want to go with you. To my school? Norman. I'm sorry. I wish I could bring you, but I can't. Play pretend with my mom, okay? Have a good day. Oh. Looks like Dolly forgot her storybook. was a very popular king. Oh, he's so wise, the people in the kingdom would say. Well done, very nicely read. Who wants to read the next line? Oh. Can I help you? Huh? Shoo, go! He's here for Dolly. Oh, is that your little brother? Actually, he's just a friend, miss. It's okay. Tell him to come in. Oh. Wait, what? No! Why is there a police officer outside our office? I can only assume the police are starting to connect the closing of many of our competitors with the opening of our Food by Fuse locations. Hmm. Why do the police even care? Helping others is so boring. All right, we'll just have to up our game. We can't let them find Octobot. So tell me, what's your plan? It looks like she's alone. So all we have to do right now is just avoid her. All right, let's do that. <laughs> it sounds like you could use my advice. Have you two ever considered thinking ahead for a change? What now? You have an idea? <clears throat> Well, go on. Let's hear it then. Your action is just a temporary measure. It would be much more efficient to eliminate the police's doubt about you altogether. And what are you proposing? Do tell. How about showing the police that you are a victim here too? Excuse me, but what's with the strutting around my office? I don't think I like it. Hmm, no what? I don't like. You took over this office months ago but there are still cats everywhere. <laughs> it is clear what this means. It means you are extremely lazy. What? How dare you? Stay calm. Just ignore him, sir. Remember, we need his brains. <sighs> so then, what did you have in mind for getting the police off our tail? It is very easy. Open your eyes. All you have to do is close down one of your own brand new stores. Even better, it should be the one that is getting the most business. You ready to try my latest creation? Uh-huh. Well, dig in! Ugh! It's too hot. It is? Just blow on it. Huh? Who's that? Who is it? Hi, Mr. C. I'm glad that you're home. Oh? What's going on? There. Take this. Hmm. <gasps> Look after it, all right? Wow, for me? Thanks so much! Let's be friends. I'm gonna take care of you and keep you safe from now on. <laughs> These red dots are diners. They're all closed, all for mysterious reasons. And you see the purple dots? Those represent Food by Fuse locations that opened immediately afterwards. Take a look. There's a busy new Fuse restaurant in almost every spot where someone recently closed down their business. Now, don't you think that's strange? What do you think happened? And how do we prove that this whole setup isn't just some unlucky coincidence? Hmm. I think you're onto something. That is odd. Ah, uh, I know. I'm glad you agree, sir. All right, then. Report back to me after looking into it. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> Good job. Nice work. I'll leave you to get started. <laughs> Bye-bye, Minecore. I'll see you when I get home, okay? 
Huh? Ready for school. You want to come with me again? Mm hmm. Hmm. Not today. Huh? Why not? It was okay the last time. That's different. You were already there. But this time you got to stay at home. You can't come with me. I'll tell you all about my day when I get back. And then we can read together. You see that clock? When the short hen reaches three, I'll be home. Oh, no, I'm late. Bye, Norman. One last thing. No more going to the playground alone, all right? It's not safe. Dolly, what happened to all the macaroni in the pantry? Oh, yeah, right. Norman and I were doing some art. I know. I should have asked for permission to use it first. I'm sorry. Oh, so that's where it all went. Oh, I'll just get some more later then. Oh, have they found his mother yet? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Bye, that's my ride. That's one, two, three. Hmm. I'm home, Norman! Huh? Hi! Huh? Hey, wait! Dolly! Where are you going? Don't! Norman. Huh? Can we play now? I'm sorry. I know I promised, but I have too much homework. Hey, Mindcore. Want to do some research together? You're going to be super smart, right? Of course you are. And soon you're going to be a Tobot. We're going to do so much cool stuff together. <laughs> Strange. How did that man suddenly become smarter than me? Maybe I should start wearing glasses or something. Don't even think of it. Confidence is the key, sir. Just think of all the times you've convinced someone you had genius ideas when you didn't have a clue. When are we going to put his new plan into action? Any specific date? Hmm. It's already begun. Go to Pascal! 